What's up, YouTube? I just purchased the uh, TS248XD Husqvarna, Husqvarna. It was dropped off this morning. Haven't had a uh, time to sit around and play with it yet. Had to go run some errands. Had an estate sale that I went to, picked up some stuff. Got some extension cords for a couple bucks. Pretty sweet deal. But this is what I'm interested in. Let me show you my property. Well, at least part of it, and then we'll talk about why I got this. So, we've got 12 acres. Here's the house. All this is mobile. It's really steep behind. All of this. All of this, there's a big hill. It goes all the way down to where that trail starts over yonder. All of this, and then there's a... Uh, mobile home that came with the property it's no one's in it right now and uh, we don't know what we're going to do with it but it goes up over the hill and goes out another acre or so um there's a little outbuilding there and so you, as you can tell it's pretty hilly and um <clears throat> so yeah we i've been doing some research and what i really 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 wanted was the cub cadet zero turn with the steering wheel. I can't remember which model that was, but um, those are excellent for hills. Did a lot of research on those. And then um, I started thinking about getting a uh, John Deere. Talked to the dealer, went down there a couple times. They're just really expensive. And now money, I don't wanna say money played a huge part in it, but it did play a significant part, um, a noticeable part. My biggest concerns were the amount of mow that I have. And it's my understanding that the transmission, the transmission is what di dictates the amount of lawn you're going to be mowing. Or your lawn dictates what transmis transmission you use. Um, this is... Kawasaki, I believe it's the 23 horsepower. Yeah, the 23 horsepower. Um, see a lot of mowers in the different models and series that are same horsepower, same cutting width. This is the 48 inch, hence the 48, I think it's second series 48 cut. Um, so you can find a 148, same deck, the engine might be like one or two horsepower smaller, but for the most part, it's my understanding that these motors are basically the same on all of them. It is purely the type of rear end that you have and how fast that will burn out. Now I went with this one because of that automatic locking differential because of the hills I, I, uh, I have to mow. I don't want to slip, uneven terrain. So anyway, I, I just got this. I haven't filled it up. There's no gas in it. Got it delivered this morning. Like I said, I bought it off of Lowe's. It was their last one there. Um, what I'm going to do now is just go through Check the oil, make sure they put enough in. Check tire pressure, check the level of the deck, adjust it if needs be. Um, it's my understanding from talking to a few people and reading and watching a few videos is that when these get shipped out to the big box store, they come in a crate and there are things that have are not connected yet. And so what Lowe's and Home Depot and other big box stores do is they will have a company or them or their employees assemble those parts there and then deliver this to you. That's a, that's a link in the chain that I do not trust. So before I take it out, I'm going to make sure, because I've, I've read reviews where people are like, Oh, I've driven this for like 10 hours and my seat bolts are coming out. So I'm going to check bolts under the seat blades um 
maybe the shroud connection. Just check them, you know, snug them up, make sure they're all good to go. Make sure the battery terminals are all nice and tight. Um, again, check the fuel or the uh, oil, make sure it's at the appropriate level. And then I'm gonna fire her up and uh, see what happens. Take her for the first run. It's, uh, I don't know, a week or two before Easter, so it's not like a lot of grass needs to be mowed, but it's getting there. It's getting there. Um, but yeah, it's a toy that I wanna play with and I can't wait, so stick around. Uh, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go do a couple of those things. Maybe I'll bring you with me, but uh, I don't know, we'll see. All right. 